looking pretty nice this evening if you're going to be out. Uh, temperatures, even though they're a touch cooler than what we've been seeing lately, it's still very nice. 60s across the area. The exception, some cooler air coming off Lake Huron in parts of St. Clair County, up in Sanilac County as well. A solid 5 to 15 degrees cooler compared to this time yesterday and this time tomorrow it's going to be even cooler and a good deal soggier as well as rain is set to return this evening. Those high clouds moving through. We'll see more of them overnight tonight and by daybreak tomorrow. A lot more cloud cover across southeast Michigan. The rain is on our doorstep and it's set to move through mainly late morning, but especially into the afternoon. If you have plans to be out during the afternoon, just be mindful, it's going to be soggy, so extra time on the roads, keep the umbrellas handy. Now, some of this rain could be heavy, and with that, there's always a possibility of ponding or some localized flooding. The overall flood threat does not look high, but some spots could see that. All this action should be heading eastward as we get closer to sunset. Eventually, by midnight, all the rain should be out of here. A good dose. Again, not really expecting much in the way of flooding, but notice that some numbers up near Interstate 69 could be close to three quarters of an inch, even upwards of an inch of rain. Certainly possible. I think most of us are right there about quarter to half an inch further south near the Ohio state line, a tenth to a quarter of an inch of rain. This is the first of what's going to be a couple of impactful days ahead. Thursday is a quiet day. The question mark is surrounding Friday and Saturday. Long range models really frankly do not agree on the timing of this next system, but it's safe to say later Friday into Saturday showers and thunderstorms and very impactful weather. Still too far out to talk specifics on threats, 